everyone, it's Marco here, the author of the Terrain Mixer. So this will be a super fast video. I just want to show you the new new options to um, build your terrain really fast. Uh, so uh, the thing is, I have noticed that some of you, uh, some of you who are new to Blender or Cycles nodes uh, or nodes in general, are kind of confused uh, about how to use them uh, for generating terrains and. Uh, the, this will be like a super fast solution for any of you uh, if you just want to get inside and you know do some changes to the terrain so um, you can see uh, we now have in the viewport we have like this uh, four cubes which represent the height inputs and we're mixing those four with this three arrows these three sliders so what you can do is um, if you want to see the result right away what you can do you can just for example move this big arrow you see the terrain is instantly changing and if you want to uh, change the influence between inputs one and two and inputs three and four you can do it with these two arrows above so let's do this and let's do this So you see how terrain is changing. Uh, with these four cubes, you can also uh, change the inputs individually. So this will affect uh, the rotation, scale, and the intensity of each height uh, uh, input. So for example, if I would scale this like so, you see how it affects the terrain. Or if I would scale this one, you see how it affects the terrain. You can also do the same with this one. And um, just to uh, remind you, so any changes uh, made on these cubes uh, are related to how these sliders are put positioned so for example if you would move this all the way uh, to the left then you would only have uh, the effects of the of, of, of this uh, slider here because uh, when you move it all the way to the left then it means that we'll the changes were all, will only be visible for um, the mix between the input one and two, these two. So I can do like this, something like this. And for example, if I would do something with the mix uh, three versus four, uh, nothing should happen with the terrain because it doesn't have any effect. And if you want to change that, then you would just simply move the, the big slider or to the right. And that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, please post them uh, below the video. And um, this should be up on Gumroad or Blender Market, uh, Gumroad and Blender Market in a day or two. So go ahead and play with it. Thanks for listening.